The space program in the United States and right here in Houston about to enter a new phase. We've been telling you about the newest class of astronauts training over at the Johnson Space Center for a new generation of space vehicles. Well, tonight we're taking you to the launch complex out in Florida. Houston space reporter Ryan Korsgaard revealing the improvements being made to the historic launch site. The one thing Americans love. Three, two, and seeing a rocket and liftoff blast the heavens right from our own coast. We're very excited to be flying astronauts from American soil again. To reach new heights when launches will once again carry NASA astronauts. Atlas V is the rocket that will launch Boeing's CTS-100 Starliner to the International Space Station. Atlas V is a very proven vehicle. It's flown you know, 74 times with 100% success. Uh, you know, the Atlas vehicle is what originally flew John Glenn. DriveKey tells us says that crew safety is a priority and several upgrades have been made to Space Launch Complex 41 with that safety top of mind. Starting with the crew access tower, it's the big elevator about 200 feet tall the astronauts will use to enter the vehicle. That was constructed solely for the astronauts. Uh, that's to put them into the capsule uh, just before liftoff. There's an emergency escape system on that tower where we could safely get them off the pad. When ULA launches a crew to the ISS, not only will it be launching into history, it will also be launching from a historic site. Two, one, we have ignition. Both Voyagers 1 and 2 launched in 1977, and the program is still sending back data from outside our solar system, the farthest any man-made object has ever traveled. Plus, this is also where the moon missions and the space shuttles launched. One thing I've, I've said in the past, and it's very true, rockets are very unforgiving. You get one chance to get it right. Once you turn it on, you can't turn it off. That's one reason the mission to launch NASA astronauts from American soil is so important. Right now, we're hitching a ride with Russia, and that contract expires in 2019. Without another foreign partner, it could mean for the first time there would be no Americans on board the International Space Station. Those flights on American rockets from American soil are expected within just months. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.